This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on The South Today, carving out a niche engineering solution in Dunedin is a work in progress for Ross Sutherland's startup company, but he's gaining traction. Year 9 pupils from East Otago High School have visited Omaru as part of a term long multi subject project on sustainability. And 200 young Queenstown gymnasts could be without a floor to practice on in a matter of a few months. Kia ora, I'm Melissa Barton. Carving out a niche engineering solution in Dunedin is a work in progress for Ross Sutherland's startup company, but he's gaining traction. His fledgling business is up and running after he spotted a pitfall in the local market faced by many Dunedin manufacturers. An engineer for the past 20 years, Ross Sutherland spied a gap in the local market and set up his own business to fill it. A lot of the machines that we and uh, joinery shops that have always used is a specialist equipment yeah. and without the support people are having to be flown in from Christchurch and Melbourne just just for regular maintenance work. He says up to seven out of every ten Dunedin manufacturing companies have to fly in specialist engineering technicians to service their processing equipment. Pretty much any industrial processing, processing equipment um, we're looking at doing repairs and maintenance. He says while his competitors are the well-resourced big machine suppliers, his point of difference is having the service and engineering solutions on hand. I think to be competitive you can't just be a mechanic or an electrician or you know just specialise in one field, you have to have a real, a real broad, broad knowledge of of sort of everything in between. Sutherland's company's already built up a good clientele list and he's looking to hire another engineer, one less having to be flown in from out of town. In Dunedin, the South today. A 17-year-old who allegedly brandaged an imitation firearm over his head in Dunedin's Meridian Mall will appear in court today. Police say the boy had frightened his friends at Kavanaugh College with the cap gun on Monday before heading to the mall. He allegedly presented the toy when he was inside, pulling the trigger of the cap gun twice. The following day, he returned to the mall while intoxicated and allegedly threatened to stab a security guard. He was arrested and charged with breaching bail, possessing an imitation firearm and threatening to kill. Year 9 pupils from East Otago High School have visited Omaru as part of a term-long multi-subject project on sustainability. Their main port of call was the Waitaki Resource Recovery Park, looking for inspiration amongst the myriad of recycling materials. The future is theirs. 22 Year 9 pupils from East Otago High School visited the Waitaki Resource Recovery Park this week to see where their recyclable rubbish goes. Student Abigail Patton says it's a growing problem. With the waste that we've accumulated in the country and we looked at the rubbish that had accumulated in our school over one day and I was just astonished. Their teacher Joshua Bird says the pupils next task will be to develop a process which can help ease the growing problem of waste in New Zealand. Another student, Sarah Hay from a farm at McRae's flat, was also amazed with how much rubbish is generated at their school in a single day. Um, we got rubbish from like one day of rubbish out of the school and then um, put it on a tarpaulin and sorted it up into its categories and like it was so amazing how much rubbish there was in just one day and most of it was like plastic and that's like pretty bad for the environment. Shaila Raharaha Baird from Karatane says she learned how some plastics are recycled and what can be made from waste. Yeah, we were told about how they're making plastic bricks that can last about a hundred years. Okay. And um, like plastic housings and um, like making plastic houses for a lot of people. She admits to buying some unnecessary plastic stuff on trips to Dunedin and isn't entirely sure she'll stop doing it. But the pupils believe if every person does the right thing, it'll be better for the environment. In Wamaru, the South Today. 
Weather is continuing to cause problems in the south after the region was lashed by wild winds yesterday. The Dunedin City Council is warning of minor surface flooding in some places and is urging care on the roads. Contractors are checking road conditions, but there's no rain-related road closures in the city. The rain comes after high winds yesterday knocked out power to parts of the south, including some Dunedin suburbs and topple trees in Clutha. At South Port and Bluff, several containers were blown off a stack, some falling into a, the container yard. 200 young Queenstown gymnasts could be without a floor to practice on in a matter of months. Queenstown Gymnastics Club has until July to find a new venue, or it will be forced to close its doors after more than 20 years of coaching and competitions. As popular as ever, the Queenstown Gymnastics Club has about 200 members learning the fundamentals of the discipline. But the future of the club hangs in the balance as their current lease in Frankton runs out in July. Well, once we have to move out of our current site, we really have nowhere to go. So it, it could mean having to close the club after nearly 20 years. The saga over finding a site has been ongoing for years. For more than a decade, the club operated out of the old Wakatipu High School, but had to move out last month as the school's being demolished to make way for a new housing project. A landlord kindly offered the club a three-month contract at this temporary site in Marks Park, but Hazlitt says the situation is now desperate. Really appealing to anyone, if anyone has any anything at all that could help, we would take anything. The space needs to be a minimum size of 200 square metres in order to have enough room for all apparatus. Hazlitt's been cold calling people, reaching out to developers and calling on council for help, but nothing has come to fruition yet. She says it would be absolutely devastating to have to close. Oh, it's been a huge part of so many people's lives. You know, some of the gymnasts train up to eight or nine hours a week, so it's really their only sport that they do. So it's, you know, it is. It's the club's still pressing ahead with fundraising efforts by holding a family fun day in July. It hopes to raise over $30,000 for operational costs and to keep membership fees to a minimum. In Queenstown, the South today. Still to come on the South today, a famous All Black graduates from Otago Polytechnic and we catch up with the people who make Special Olympic events happen in our community. Hard to find bookshop, we sell quality books on all subjects from the rare to the recent, and where viable, we will come to you. We have a great reputation for integrity and honesty, so if you're downsizing or sorting an estate and have books to sell, contact us. The season has changed, and at Alec Campbell Menswear, in our three stores Cromwell, South Dunedin, and Mosgill, we have it covered. Check out these jackets, they'll keep you warm and dry and stylish. Of course, we're known for our fashion shirts, but in the winter, we do have our lovely warm shirts. Look at them all. And we're known for our great range of winter knitwear too. Don't forget our stretch moleskins. Six colours. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. We'll keep you warm and dry and looking just great. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Step into Shop on Carol and discover a shop full of treasures. We have a fantastic range of vintage and retro clothes, upmarket clothing labels, collectible items, beautiful jewellery, quality linen and the best range of vintage haberdashery.
every Kiwi deserves a reliable garage door. Rely on Garador to protect your important stuff. Just like Darren. His Garador keeps his favourite ride in mint condition. We have a huge range at affordable prices. Visit our website for a free consultation. We stand behind every door. At Green Island Medical Centre, we are committed in caring for our future and present generations. We know as a young person, coming to the doctors can be quite daunting. Our highly skilled doctors and nurses will make your experience one where you will leave with a smile. Your health is very important to us. Welcome back. Sonny Bill Williams has announced he's graduated from Otago Polytechnic with a degree in Applied Management. The excited All Blacks shared the news on Instagram saying, yes, a Pacific Islander, boxer, League Sevens and rugby player can graduate. Williams graduated with a bachelor's degree in Applied Management with distinction. Williams is one of 10 Blues players who enrolled in the same degree through Capable New Zealand a school within Otago Polytechnic utilising the Auckland campus on occasion. Organisers of a recent Special Olympic Ribbon Day in Rangiora say they're not a sector of society that should be shut away. Hours of training goes on behind the scenes to get athletes ready for Special Olympic events, with volunteers, families and athletes just wanting to be part of the community. I do my best to always do. Who won that? I think you might. I think I might. Okay. Let's start off with a big round of applause for our athletes. Well Special Olympics, our organisation, is um, a, 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 our mission is to provide year-round sports training and competition for adults and children with an intellectual disability. Come on, Jess! Flash, flash, flash! That's it! High five! We're weekly trainings, which our guys hang out for. That's the really important thing about Special Olympics, is their weekly trainings. So then they qualify for that, they get entered into a ribbon day, and today's a ribbon day. What happens, everybody gets a ribbon. No one misses out. And we got a special participation ribbon for Murdoch. Come on up, Murdoch. Yeah. They gain confidence and self-esteem. They meet friends, they break down barriers, they learn about sports as well, and all those social things that we take for granted. The guys attending here today uh, are qualifying for, by being here, it doesn't matter where they get or what times they get, so they're qualifying to go to a, re a regional games, which will be in next year, and regional games qualifies for national games, and they're every four years. Eventually, to a world games, if, if, they're, if they're able to cope with being away from their support network. So not many of our guys go away to world games. It's quite a, we, we don't have elite athletes, but they're athletes that can cope overseas. They're the ones that go away to world games. That's every four years. So there's uh, roughly 6,000 athletes throughout New Zealand. Um, we've got 42 clubs around the country. Canterbury, uh, biggest club in the country, uh, has over 90 volunteers looking after roughly 300 athletes, somewhere around 300 athletes. Go, 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 go. He loves the Special Olympics. He just, I just tell him, you know, try your hardest, Josh, even he tries. He's been doing it for a long time and he's there. He comes, he always comes over after a swim and he does a high five and you know, and he puts his two thumbs up and like, I've done well. He's really proud of himself, he's two thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got it. We get magnificent feedback from parents. Um, parents just love these events because, um, so the timekeepers today, are all mothers and fathers of athletes and they love it. This is their social outing. They come along today and they laugh and they shake hands. And they see each other at trainings as well, but they've become really involved in the running of these events. I like seeing my friends and just um, having, having fun. They walk in and they see their friends and, uh, and they, they shake hands with their friends. How are you doing? High fives and they swap phone numbers and and are on social media and they're just 
regular young people who take a bit longer to learn and need a bit more support. That's really all they are. I always um, like to think of our athletes as people with a disability rather than disabled people. We're empowering our athletes to be more than just sports people, but to go and get jobs and look people in the eye and, and be um, good citizens, I suppose, and, and worthwhile people. You can see them in the pool. They're absolutely amazing, amazing sports people, and they have something to say just the same as we do. Our guys genuinely try so hard, and they're so loving, and it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a privilege to be involved. Yeah. We're not a sector of community that should be shut away. We're a sector of community that, that need, to, need encouragement to be part of our community. After the break on the south today, the Avenue Q puppeteers visit Queenstown and we have a look at the weather heading into the weekend, which is set to be better than today. Hard to find bookshop, we sell quality books on all subjects from the rare to the recent, and where viable, we will come to you. We have a great reputation for integrity and honesty, so if you're downsizing or sorting an estate and have books to sell, contact us. The Green Island Medical Centre offers everything for your family's needs. Whether you are travelling or coming in to discuss health symptoms, our medical staff provide the best of care. We often manage my health, making booking an appointment or requesting a repeat prescription a breeze. We welcome families like yours. Give us a call today, phone 03 488 2754. Most of us have spots on our skin. That's quite normal. Finding skin cancer as early as possible is key to successful treatment. Book in for a free check of one to two moles or a comprehensive full body check with the Mole Doctor in Waverley. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Autumn is here and it's too late to sow seed. But don't despair, Ready Lawn is the answer to all your garden woes. Call Ready Lawn today on 027 228 Step into Ross Cafe, located at Ross Home in North East Valley. We have a great range of hot and cold food, friendly service and a warm atmosphere that you are sure to enjoy. We look forward to serving you soon at Ross Cafe. The season has changed and at Alec Campbell Menswear in our three stores, Cromwell, South Dunedin and Mosgill, we have it covered. Check out these jackets, they'll keep you warm and dry and stylish. Of course we're known for our fashion shirts, but in the winter we do have our lovely warm shirts. Look at them all. And we're known for our great range of winter knitwear too. Don't forget our stretch moleskins, six colours. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. We'll keep you warm and dry and looking just great. Every Kiwi deserves a reliable garage door. Rely on Garador to protect your important stuff. Just like Darren. His Garador keeps his favourite ride in mint condition. We have a huge range at affordable prices. Visit our website for a free consultation. We stand behind every door. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. If you're suffering from sciatica, lower back pain, hips and pelvis and knees, this technique will work wonders for you. The energy flow is transmitting through the muscles. Come and see Sunny Chin. Ricky here from Beds R Us Dunedin, your local sleep specialists. Come in and try our huge touchscreen sleep selector, taking the hard work out of choosing the right bed for you. See you here.
Thanks for staying with us. Wasake Naholo is set to make his return off the bench for the Highlanders this weekend against the Lions in Johannesburg. The All Black wing has been sidelined with injury since the end of March. CO Tonkinson has been named to start on the left wing in place of Tevita Lee, with Tay Walden returning to second five. In the forwards, Alec Dixon takes a break with Shannon Frizzell starting at number eight, while Dylan Hunt comes in for James Lynchies at open side flanker. Tyrell Lomax returns to tight head prop in the only change in the tight five. After three months of bonding with their puppets, it's time for the cast of Avenue Q to take the stage. Showbiz Queenstown season of the award-winning R16 musical is set to open tonight at the Queenstown Memorial Centre. Putting the finishing touches on the latest Showbiz Queenstown production, the cast and crew of Avenue Q gearing up for tonight's opening. We all really wanted to get people who go, oh, musicals are my thing, mm. to go, come on in, experience a musical, it's naughty, it's funny, it's very it's funny. hilarious, there's <laughs> puppets popping out saying rude but funny things, what, mm. what else can you want? <laughs> the PSA, when the showbiz committee was looking for this year's production, they wanted something different. Avenue Q was the first choice. What, what's a little bit different, what's a little bit quirky, um, and Avenue Q was, was top of the list, really. And we, yeah, but we still wanted a musical with um, high, pet, like a pedigree, uh, quality show. Yeah. Avenue Q ticked all the boxes. The R16 show is not only funny and entertaining, it also tackles serious themes like racism, sexuality and diversity. Tonight's opening, the culmination of three months hard work. Everyone's local and um, we've got a married couple there, we've got brothers as well. Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, a good mix of experienced and, and newcomers, which I think is really exciting. And the special praise for the person in charge of costumes, Sophie Kennedy. And we thought oh, it's not actually going to be much of a job, not much to do because there are only three human characters. But the puppets have been a massive yeah. job because they've needed a bit of TLC. And, uh, she's and had a, a puppet of, hospital set up. She has. Every yeah. night fixing puppets, so, so she's good. done an amazing job. Evening performances are set to be staged over the next three nights with a matinee on Sunday and three more evening shows next week in Queenstown, the South Today. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South Today. Carving out a niche engineering solution in Dunedin is a work in progress for Ross Sutherland's startup company, but he's gaining traction. Year 9 pupils from East Otago High School have visited Omaru as part of a term-long, multi-subject project on sustainability. And 200 young Queenstown gymnasts could be without a floor to practice on in a matter of a few months. And now look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT. Welcome Mr Craig Page, what have you got for us in tomorrow's paper? Good evening, plenty of reading in our Friday newspaper. Uh, we, we've caught up with Tourism Minister Calvin Davis who, who's spoken out about the proposal for a bed tax in Queenstown, um, indicating that if it does go ahead it will be the only one uh, approved for New Zealand. Um, he wouldn't comment when this was first talked about several months ago but we uh, managed to bail him up at the Trends Conference in Rotorua with David Locker out there for us this week. Um, He's, he's also raised concerns about the impact tourists are having in Queenstown and concedes that something needs to be done about it. Um, the proposal is for a 5% visitor levy, they're calling it a visitor levy, effectively a bed tax. It's going to raise about $22 million which annually which would go back into infrastructure in Queenstown. Now. Which is greatly needed. Oh it is, it is chaos up there at the moment and um, the referendum's being held and, and the voting papers are going out this week so they will get a, an indication there what the, the local residents think of it. Uh, Kelvin Davis, yeah, he, as he said, he won't confirm that he's in favour of it, but said that it would be a one-off for New Zealand and, and something needs to be done. So that's a pretty, pretty clear indication that the government is behind it. Um, winter, first real taste of winter over the last couple of days. Um, wind and rain throughout the region, not particularly pleasant. Um, we've got a bit of a wrap of that today. Um, reports of 140 kilometre an hour winds in some parts. Uh, we've got uh, containers being blown off wharfs and bluff as well. Um, long tour, uh, the weather forecast suggesting it might be a bit quieter at the moment, but uh, more wind in store for the rest of the weekend, so uh, keep the trampoline nailed down. And finally, just sport as well. Big night in, tomorrow, in Dunedin tomorrow with the Otago Sports Awards in town. Uh, it's a bit of a who's who of Otago sport and New Zealand sport, really. We've got snowboarder Zoe sadowski Sinnott there, um, athlete Holly Robinson and All Black Ben Smith, who are big names internationally as well that will be all representing in various categories, so it'll be interesting to see how it all goes. Wonderful, so there's something for everyone in tomorrow's ODT. Thank you, Craig. And now it's time for a look at tomorrow's weather. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by Molmap.
Beginning with the southern view taken from inside a warm car after this morning's wet school run in Dunedin, while a Logan Park High School Year 10 camp in South Otago was cut short due to power cuts and miserable weather. Looking at the situation, clearing weather tomorrow will see sunny periods increasing after inland frost and a mostly fine day. Westerly winds will increase on Saturday ahead of the next cold front. Starting off at the northwest of the South Island, Greymouth and Westport can expect clear skies and 14 degree highs. Across to the northeast, Nelson and Blenheim are also due to have a sunny day and a high of 14. Moving to the southern towns, where you can look forward to an improvement on today's weather. With moderate westerlies, a fine day and 11 degree highs for Balclutha, the Catlins, Lumsden and Gore. Heading westwards to the central lakes, the improvements of the weather front continue over here too. Wanaka and Alexandra get to 12 degrees with 11 in Queenstown and Tiana, your high is to be, due to be 10 degrees. Up to the northern towns, the clearer skies and generally nicer weather trend is on in this region too. Timaru and Omaru are due for light southwesterlies with fine weather. Timaru should get to 12 and 11 degrees for Omaru, similar in Twizel and Amarama, with both of you reaching 12 degree highs. Moving to Dunedin, it's going to be cloudy tonight with gusty cold southwesterlies decreasing and a chilly overnight low of 5 degrees. Cold but fine weather tomorrow with a mix of sunny periods and some cloud. Southwesterlies will slowly die out, looking at a high of 11 and a low of 9. Milder northwesterlies on Saturday with high cloud increasing. Wrap up warm if you're out and about, looking at a 15 degree high and a low of five, 8. Heading to Invercargill, cloudy tonight with gusty cold southwesterlies, with also a chilly overnight low of 6. Mostly cloudy but dry tomorrow with fresh gusty cold westerlies. You're not expected to break double figures tomorrow with a high of 9 and a low of 7. Cloud increasing and showers developing during the afternoon on Saturday with fresh to strong westerlies. It will be slightly warmer with a high of 12 degrees and an overnight low of 8. That's all from the South Today team for this Thursday and for the socially minded tomorrow is Pink Shirt Day as part of an anti-bullying campaign. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz and follow Channel 39 on Facebook and YouTube. Have a great evening, keep warm, ka kite anō. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.